Now, let us move to the world of nanotechnology. Nanotechnology is the science of small. The word nano has been derived from the Greek word nanos, which is represented as one billion fraction of an unit. It refers to the manipulation and application of individual atoms and molecules to produce nanostructured materials and submicron integrated systems. What is nanochemistry? Nanochemistry refers to the utilization of synthetic chemistry to make nanoscale building blocks of different sizes and shapes, composition and surface structures, charge and functionality. On viewing to nanotechnology, it was found to be before 640 AD. Yes, that's the Lycurgus cup. Nanoparticles also exist in nature. The colors on the wings of the butterflies are due to the nanoparticles present on it. Likewise, the shiny colors of the feathers of peacock has different colors which is due to the nanoparticles. Lotus leaf is not wet on the surface of water droplets due to the nanoscopic architecture on the surface. Using the current advanced technology, carbon nanotube has been synthesized. Carbon nanotube is a tube-shaped material made of carbon having a diameter measuring on the nanometer scale. It is formed from the graphite sheet and it looks like a rolled up continuous unbroken hexagonal mesh and carbon molecules at the apexes of the hexagons. They are chemically very stable, mechanically very strong and conduct electricity. These carbon nanotubes has various applications in different fields. Let us have a view on the applications of nanotechnology. Nanotechnology is used in agriculture. It has been used to detect pathogens, prevent waste, reduce the risk of diseases, to deliver DNA to plants, improve the quality of the soil, stimulate plant growth, and to provide smart monitoring of the plant growth. Carbon nanotubes can be used to recognize and fight against disease-causing virus in plants. Nanotube sensors are used to detect hormone level changes in plants. Aluminosilicate nanotubes and mesoporous silica nanoparticles have been used in agriculture. Nanotechnology has also been used in food industry. It is used for food processing, antibacterial coating for cooking utensils, improving taste and texture, lowering fat in food, and for packaging. Nanobarcodes are used for the identification and tracing of food products. Nanoceuticals, that is, nanocapsules enclosing nutrients, are used for the releasing the nutrients into the body when required. Certain microscopic particles are used in cosmetics and beauty products. To make wireless devices, nanowires, nanoscale transistors, etc. Number of construction materials, concrete, metal, glass and plastics can be coated with bucky paper solution which is a fine arrangement of carbon nanotubes that helps in water repulsion, corrosion protection and thermal insulation. Nanotechnology is rapidly changing the philosophy of medical treatment. Nanobots are devices used for the purpose of maintaining and protecting the human body against pathogens. A tiny robot is implanted into the bloodstream. The robot detects the cause of disease and travels to the appropriate system and provides a dose of medication directly to the infected area. And now, the most important application is the drug delivery to destroy the cancer cells. Here, we can see the cancer cells growing. Now, when the nanocapsule with doxorubicin, which is an effective anti-cancer drug, is injected, it goes inside the cell using oncomarker signatures and gets attached to the cancer cells. 
nanoparticle delivery starts from the bloodstream and binds only with the cancer cells. When the nanocapsule conjugates with several markers, its DNA origami shell opens, releasing the nanoparticle inside the cell and drive in. Now, only the nanoparticle drive into the very center of the cell. Then, the nanoparticle heat up and vaporize the water inside the cancer cell that creates tiny bubble inside the cancer cell. The tiny bubbles quickly expand, burst and rip the cancer cell apart. Coming to an end, here we have seen a lot about nanotechnology and also its importance and applications in various fields and sure we are going to enter the nearby future into the complete nano world. Thank you.